Hello Libra, welcome into your weekly love tarot reading. In this week we are going to be looking at past, present and future energy with regards to your connection, whatever it may be. We'll see in the reading what comes up here. How I'm going to do it is I'm going to be looking at your person's energy in the past, present and also what's coming in the future and also have a look at what your guys' relationship was like. So if it was good we're going to, and we're going to see why it was good, what's causing it to be good. If it's not so good we're also going to be able to see what is causing it or what is the underlying issue that was making it not so good. It depends what comes up here. Let's hold thumbs that this is something really nice and positive. So let's get that first card out, Libra, for your person's energy. By the way, Libra, Merry Christmas if I don't see you guys again, if I don't see you, if you don't come into one of my readings, I will cry, I'm just saying. But anyway, let's get started. Your person's energy, extended reading, by the way, before I forget, is going to be looking into your energy and then getting the, the perspective, the, a different perspective from your spirit guides, your guys' connection, but we're going to look at it as how the spirit guides see it and what they have to say about it and then get advice from them as well if you want to check that out if you wish to do so there's a link in the description box below but this is your person's energy so let's see what's going on I, you got a very interesting energy to come out here and I'm not sure if this is a positive thing with regards to a connection or not. I will tell you as soon as I get another card out. That is the high priestess energy in the reverse position. Now what you need to know about that is that somebody is trusting their intuition. This is in your person's energy so your person is trusting their intuition. This can go any way here. I want to see. The thing is with them trusting their intuition it's literally them going I know exactly what I need to do. I know exactly what I need to do. I'm trusting my heart. I'm trusting my soul. I'm trusting the vibes that I'm feeling and I'm going to go in that direction. This is when you know almost like instinctively what is needs to be done and what you need to do. No one has to tell you anything. It's almost like you've got a vibe. You're following that vibe. What is this Libra? This is a mystery. Let's see what was the, in the past, this is past energy. What was the connection like in the past? This is very interesting. Guys, you've got a king of pentacles that has just come out here. That's a very stable energy. Um, it always, in this specific deck, the, the princess of the, uh, the tarot, uh, it always reminds me of Leo because there's a lion in that card there. So it shows me there's a very strong connection here. Um, this can be somebody coming in wanting to have commitment with you. You guys might have already been together for a while already because that is the king of pentacles energy. Let's see, spirit guides, what's up with this king of pentacles? Why is it there? Because decisions were made in the past. You've got a Seven of Cups energy. Whoa. Look how many. I just want to show you something here. In every. Usually some of these cards. There's a person alone as you can see. You know what I'm saying. But all three cards that I've taken out here. Literally is a man and a woman. A man and a woman. Or a couple of some sort. Standing in every one of those cards. You can see. So you got the high priest there. Someone knows instinctively exactly what they need to be doing. They trusting their heart. Their soul. Their instincts. You got a. Knight, a king of pentacles, I nearly said knight of pentacles, you guys have arrived to a place of commitment because in the past, again, decisions were made, seven of cups, this involves emotion, um, there was thoughts about the future, some of the other uh, tarots, tarot decks with regards to seven of cups, some of the words that they use in their decks is obviously decisions that need to get made, um, daydreaming about the future, sort of dreaming about what is coming, so you guys, I feel like whoever this is, in the past you guys were going to a, either already in a place of stability because you guys made decisions about where you want to be and with whom you want to be with, which is each other. Um, it became very, very, very strong, guys. This is a nice energy. So let's see currently. This might even be you guys discussing getting married in the future or settling down. Or if you are married already, I mean, for some of you guys, because it is a King of Pentacles energy, you may even be living together or married already. Um, this is almost this energy of, you know, it's time to have a baby or it's time to have a... a to buy a house with each other, you know, that kind of energy where you go deeper into the commitment. So let's see now currently, I'm really curious because this is coming up as a past energy. I want to see what's going on currently with your guy, with your person. Well, something is happening very, 
very, very quickly. You got an eight of wands happening in your person's energy. So that indicates you this person is kind of like a mystery, hey? They kind of like, I don't feel like, I'm just going to tell you because you see the way that the cards are coming out. Sometimes they can be very straightforward with a person's energy. It literally just says um, hurt or it's like happy. But your person's energy is a bit of a mystery. It's a bit of a mystery energy. It usually just indicates something is going on, but we don't quite know what. And the same thing has come out in present energy as well. Does your person do this to you? Do they kind of like leave you kind of like wondering like, what are they doing? You know what I mean? But not in a bad way, but they kind of like can surprise you quite a lot. It, might, it comes through quite a lot in this reading. The Eight of Wands indicates they're very, very busy with something. And whatever they are busy with, and I just actually saw a card as I was going, this card just fell so um whatever they're busy with this is something they want to do very quickly it's something that they're very excited about and it's also something that's um involving a lot of action because you've got an eight of wands energy so i want to see what is currently going on in your guys connection here let's say oh wow okay wow no two of wands Mm, this is a partnership reading, guys. This You guys are still with each other. Um, I honestly, I don't know. I've been picking this up, uh, I think, in last week's reading as well. I can't remember which zodiac it was. But if you go check, it was literally the marriage reading. I cannot for the life of me. I have to go check on YouTube to see which one of the readings it was. But if it was yours, I swear, I'll, I'll just faint here. Um, because this means lifelong partnerships. This means the two of wands indicates that it's that card that shows you I found the person. I found my partner. I found my the person that I want to spend the rest of my life with. It usually indicates two people who have got similar interests, two people who like the same things, two people who get along and make a really, really good team. This is very, very beautiful. If this Eight of Wands is coming up facing the two, this can literally mean somebody really thinking about settling down, somebody seeing you as their long-term person. Wow. So let's have a see now and see, Spirit Guides, what is bringing in this, this energy like this? What? Oh my, decisions were made again. Now you've got the Saggy card that has come up here. Temperance energy. Wow. This is a major arcana as well. This, I feel this has taken time. Now I understand. The temperance energy usually indicates going slow, taking time, making decisions, weighing up the, the pros and cons. You can see how the, the angel is kind of like pouring liquids from one glass to the other, testing the waters with the foot in the water, one foot in, one foot out. And it's almost like I know where I want to go. There's my success. There's the crown. And there's the crown here, which is the king of pentacles energy. So I know what I want. I know where I want to go. Honestly, can I tell you, I feel like this is a relationship that's been going on for quite a while. And there is no marriage yet, but they, you guys were together. But this is moving to a new place. I actually know a couple. I'm very close to them. They, they have a daughter and um, they are together now for... I think it's eight years and there's no marriage yet but they're very happy with each other and i almost feel like this is the vibe that's coming through here it's like people who have been together for a long time there's actually nothing really wrong you guys i mean yeah there's issues i mean where do we live disneyland no of course not so the thing is but if there's commitment, there's understanding between two people, and it's taking it very, very slow, very slow. But I feel like decisions have been made, and your person's making decisions here to move this connection to another level. I feel like, you know, wow, this reading, I feel like it's couple has been together for a while, but finally, he has this movement, he has this change that's coming in towards commitment. So this is a very, very interesting reading. Let's see now into the future here, what's going to be going on with your person's energy. Usually when I talk about future in my tarot readings, I don't look at anything further than, um, uh, two months to three months because I feel like anything further even a month it can be possible I feel like anything further is just going to be too much so let's see a card out for your person's energy into the future let's see what this is oh love guys wow the lover's card has come up here that is really really crazy that is the lover's card that has come up in your guys reading your reading is amazing guys um 
I think your person, I don't know what to say. Your person sees you as their person. Your person sees you, this is, this is the person I'm going to stay with for the rest of my life with the two of ones energy. They have really, really thought about this. This is not just something that they're diving into. They know without a doubt that you are the one. There's your high priestess. They know without a doubt you are the one. Let's see current energy of this relationship. I'm so curious in the future. What is going to be happening in this connection? Woo, nearly dropped that card in the future. Wow, you have got, oh, it's in the reverse position. I can't deny that. But it's a three of pentacles, guys. They will take their time. But this this connection is secure. It says reach out. This is the three of pentacles energy. It does indicate the signing of documents that are official, that you go and do at the courthouse, or that you go do sometimes with somebody who's got authority, like a pastor or a priest, this is coming in. This is still coming in. Your person's moving very slow, taking it very slow. Um, their decision-making is very slow, but them deciding that you are the one for them and what they want to be with you, is their decision was that the thought process of you guys being together forever, it was a very quick thing. It was very easy for them to decide with the Eight of Wands being there. They didn't need convincing. They didn't need to think about it. No. But going to that place of commitment, going to the, the day you guys get married, the day you guys move in together, the day you guys have a baby, all those kinds of things that we do, they very slow moving energy. But they in their mind, they know exactly what they want. And this is coming. This is a very interesting reading. If you like ever freaking out that they're taking too long to commit to you, they will. Oh, they will. Into the future as well. You've got the Three of Pentacles. All it indicates when the Three of Pentacles is in the reverse position is it will take a bit longer, I think, than you would like. But it is coming. You've got beautiful energies here, guys. High Priestess up there. There's that knowing. There is the knowing. Then you've got the temperance energy. I'm um, taking my time. Also not wanting to make any mistakes moving forward as well. That's what the temperance energy is. It's very careful. It's an energy of I need to be really sure when I do something. And I don't want to make any mistakes moving forward. You've got this beautiful two of wands which indicates lifelong partnership long-term commitment and then what must i say the lover's card soulmate energy you guys are they love you and i feel like you love them as well the commitment is coming just be patient you've got a very cautiously slow moving energy here and it's not bad they are committed they want what you want as well i just feel like they're going to want to do it in the right way so let's have a look and see what makes this Three of Pentacles be there in the future energy. What makes it so slow for them? Why is it so slow? Because they manifest, oh, this person is beyond focused. Wow. Okay. They got the manifest energy here, which is the um, the uh, magician card in the original tarot. It's in the reverse position. Ah, your person. Wow. Who you are dealing with here? Woo. Libra. This person is takes things extremely seriously. Um, when they think about something, everything they're a perfectionist. Okay, they one of those. I'm not that person. I'm just saying I try to be, but I know I'm not. Um, they are a perfectionist. I don't know if they have OCD because the way it's coming up in the reading, everything has to be perfectly aligned, and they are working on manifesting what you are seeing here. This is their energy. This is what they're doing. They're manifesting this entire thing that we're seeing unfolding they have been doing it from the past because this is two very these for me are the two strongest cards in the deck because you got the high priestess energy it almost indicates this mystical kind of spiritual energy then you got the manifesting energy which is the magician which is the same kind of energy they believe that um they believe intuitively. They feel that you guys are meant to be together. When you got this energy, they are bringing this into reality. When it's in the reverse position, it is perfection. Everything needs to be perfectly aligned. There's your temperance energy. Everything needs to be done in the exact time. You know, they may be even looking at things like um, finances and money. And they may even say, okay, when I'm finished studying, um, we can get settled down. When I want to have money for the wedding, I need to have so much money. I need to have this amount of 
money put away for our honeymoon they very meticulous this person and when it's in the reverse position extremely strict focused energy they are focusing on this commitment but it has to align for them in perfect alignment before they actually going to want to step it's almost like two people getting married there look at this this is beautiful guys um when they've already made up their mind by the way with the eight of wands being here it's just that their actions is going to be very carefully moved forward step by step everything got to be perfect wow i'm just saying that's not me i do something on a whim it's just like boom let's go let's go my family knows if i wake up in the morning and they're all sitting around the next moment is let's go let's go on holiday and everybody's like yay running around like maniacs packing things you know what i mean yeah that's that's me fire sign it's very different i don't feel like if this is a fire sign i feel like they uh yeah, their, their practical energies are very earthy, you know, very earthy energy or that kind of like, you know, that energy of them thinking a lot as well could be air sign, very strong of those kind of energies in their signs as well because that those are the energies that like to have things really sorted and really uh, like almost like secure and grounded i'm feeling it very strong from this person this is a very you you're very lucky to actually get yourself together with somebody who thinks this way because you know um in life itself they're going to be very good for you um very good uh, maybe you opposite of them i'm just saying because i'm explaining how i am and i would be the total opposite of this person even though i try my best to be like on the ball and on have everything aligned but it's not always like that you know what i'm saying the thing is um you may be like the total opposite of them but you guys being the total opposite actually make it perfect you know you balance each other out because of your differences wow so because always libra sign i always kind of feel like you guys are quite laid back energy i think out of the entire zodiac every time i do your guys i don't pick it up from actual what people describe you know if you go and what is libra like no no i always just whenever i go into your readings your guys have got the most like chilled feel from all, all the other zodiacs you're most relaxed and kind of like observing energy i really like your guys vibe and i actually don't know a libra i'm just saying so let's go into the past and see um past energy yeah, there you go. You guys had a commitment that was being tested. There you are. This is going to somewhere where there is commitment. First quarter moon. This was unfolding. Um, they had they had made a decision about this. There was a moment, you see, with the seven of cups being there, there was a moment where they were like, so what is this? What is this connection to me? What is happening here? Where am I going with this? They had to think deeply about where you guys were going what was happening to them who you were to them and they made the connection they uh, there was a moment where they had to sit and think like is this something serious here and their conclusion was like yes it is yes it is and this is what led them to have that understanding of yeah this is something this is what they what they found out is this a commitment? Is this it? And they were like, yes, yes, it is. I made the decision. That's what made them now in this current energy look at you like their person. Wow, Libra. So let's go into current energy and see what card comes in. Do not let your past hold you back. Do not let the past hold you back. You guys are heading into North Node, okay? South Node energy. It's the, it's the, it's the history. It's comfortable by the way you guys have been together i feel like this is quite a long-term vibe here could have been years really could have been a long time already you guys have been together for a long time now it is time to move this connection into north node because south node is the comfort zone south node is where you've been south node is like yeah we're in south node i know south node we've been here but you cannot stay in south node south node is going to cause stagnancy you need to move into what is meant for you to move into and that next energy is going to be north node and this is what is coming here but i feel like the north node because of their energy here will be kind of like slower but very meticulously planned so let's have a look into your guys' future and see what energy comes up here for you guys moving into the future. This is a very, very interesting reading. You are good enough, full moon in Virgo energy. There we go. And one of the people I was telling you about that's in the relationship that's like eight years um, in the going now and they're so strong with each other is literally a Virgo. And Virgo has kind of got this mindset of having everything must be perfect before I do something. You guys are good enough. They are good enough. You see, this is part of the, I think this is the issue also. 
um, you are good enough. Kind of, I think the way Spirit Guide is showing this card for a reason to you. I think they feel like they're not good enough or they feel like they must have everything perfect because they feel like they need to be good enough. Um, this is, could be one of the ways that they show love to people as well. Um, I know a lot of signs, um, especially the earthy signs as well, the way that they show you love is to be stable. It's to be strong. It's to make everything happen. There was my dad's energy. He was Capricorn. So I don't know this person, your person's um, zodiac sign, but he would actually um, make sure that we always had like a roof over our head. We got food on the table. We got a car to go somewhere. The school fees were paid. The lights, you know, or the electrical bill was paid. Our uniforms were ready because we wear school uniforms in my country. Yeah, we're not like in America, you just go, you put, no, we have to wear a uniform. Um, so uh, we, all those things were always taken care of. And when he did that, that was how he showed us that he loved us. And if he couldn't get that right at any time in his life, it, it would hit him really badly. And then he would not feel good enough. So this could be why your person does what they do, why they take it so slow, why they want everything to be perfect, because this is how they show love. This is how they comprehend it in their mind. It's coming through very strongly in this reading. For some reason, this reading is making me feel very like reminding me of my like childhood, reminding me of like my family and all these crazy things. I think this is something that's going to be going quite long term. With the two of wands there, I feel like you guys are going to have lots of memories together. Wow. So let's look into the Sacred Traveler energy for you guys and see what card comes up here with regards to advice going forward. <laughs> Wondrous universe. Beautiful. Walk in beauty, guys. You, have, you guys are a gift to each other. I'm just saying um, you have been given this. This is very interesting because this energy reminds me of the same person. Just look at that. How somebody is just sort of manifesting a future here and so is this person. They're like moving elements of the universe and energy to bring in what is going to be your guys future together. I honestly feel like I'm picking up on an energy of like two people like sitting on the porch somewhere in South Africa we don't have porches we've got stoops okay but it's the same thing or you're sitting somewhere outside on two chairs and watching your grandchildren play in front of you you know this is this kind of energy and it says walking beauty because this is a wondrous universe and I feel like you are being given a gift of this person and they've been given a gift of you and this to me feels like really really long term vibe coming up here doesn't matter if it's a bit slow now they're gonna come in here manifesting this energy and you just be there and wait for it to happen because there's this energy of love there's the temperance energy this is a very beautiful reading guys there we go thank you so much for coming in i really love the vibe of this reading and the feel of it if you want to check how things are going to be unfolding um with regards to how you're going to be feeling how spirit guide sees this energy what to they see with regards to you and them and even advise you guys moving forward i'm so curious to see what card's going to come out here for this energy as well because this is beautiful um you can check out the link in the description box below but there we go i'm wishing you all amazing christmas if i don't see you again and i'm sending love and light bye